Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so I come to you with something a bit different. Uh, this is a, a music haul. Uh, I received a, a week or so ago a forwarded email from Steve Donahue from a viewer of my channel um, who, uh, I don't want to reveal his name and I'm, I'm, you know, I have the box that he sent me stuff in uh, here, but I'm obviously not going to re reveal his address. I don't know how comfortable he is with me revealing information about him, so I won't reveal his name just in case, but if you're watching, thank you so much for the music. I will also shoot you an email. Um, I, I told him I would shoot him an email to let him know that, that I got it all. Um, but he basically, this uh, guy was trying to get rid of some of his music collection. He has this huge classical music collection with a lot of opera in it. Um, and uh, he was trying to pare it down a little bit and he offered to send me some uh, if I named what I was interested in. Um, so I, I gave him a brief idea of the, you know, opera I'm most interested in. He also has some other classical music that he offered to send me. Um, so uh, presumably he sent me some of that. But part of the point of this is that I've just opened the box. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to you know, open the box on camera, but I have opened the box. And I'm going to go through it with you guys. Because um, I just thought that would be a little, a little fun. Um, something a bit different. So uh, I haven't really, well, I took a glance in it. Um, and I liked what I saw. Um... So, uh, anyway, here we go. Um, all right. So, he, he has actually sent some books as well. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> Sheesh. So, this is great. Um, so what he sent me is, uh, some books by Ernest Newman. Um, these are the Wagner operas, um, so this is volume one, this is, um, The Flying Dutchman, Tannhauser, Lohengrin, Tristan, and Isold, and the Meistersingers of Nuremberg, um, and then this one is the, Nib the Ring of the Nibelungs, um, and Parsifal. So, yeah, I, these, I guess, are guides to the... Operas of Wagner, um, wow, that's great, <laughs> he knew I was into op, he knew I was into Wagner, um, cause this is awesome, uh, so that's great, um, you know, uh, Ernest Newman wrote, is the author of that Wagner biography that I ha hauled, uh, a few weeks ago, um, so he, Apparently must have written a bit, quite a bit more about, uh, about Wagner. So this is great. Awesome. All right. That, that's a good start. Um, all right. There, there are a couple more books in here, actually. Um, oh my. More Wagner. Okay. Um, so this is, um, uh, this is Wagner's Ring, Turning the Sky Round, Commentaries on the Ring of the Nibelung by M. Owen Lee. Uh... So, uh, some sort of commentary on the Ring of the Nibelungs. Um, let's see, let's see, I'll, I'll read you the blurb, I'll do this like Steve does it. Um, so, it starts with a quote, uh, The vastest piece of music ever conceived by the mind of man is Richard Wagner's masterpiece, The Ring of the Nibelung. Like the four operas of the Ring itself, Das Rheingold, Die Valkyrie, Siegfried, and Goethe Dämmerung, Father Lee's commentary draws on history, mythology, psychology, and philosophy, as well as a profound love and understanding of music. His Wagner's Ring, which includes synopses of the operas and a selected discography, is the perfect companion to the composer's inexhaustible myth in music. Um, so that... that um, that's just a, a brief, that's not the whole blurb, but that's just a, a quote at the beginning. Um, so great, a commentary on, uh, the ring cycle. That's awesome. Um, and then, oh, interesting, okay. And then we have, uh, Decoding Wagner, An Invitation to His World of Music Drama by Thomas May. Um, it includes two full-length classic CDs, so it, so it has some CDs with it as well. Um, so uh, here's the back cover. In this authoritative guide to Wagner and his works, Thomas May explores the world of this deeply misunderstood figure and cultural icon whose influence extends to all the arts. Uh, challenging commonly held assumptions, May serves as a guide to the great emotional power in Wagner's art 
and presents a straightforward overview of what Wagner attempted to achieve with his artwork of the future. Lively discussions of his major works place them in the context of his life and consider the interplay of dramatic and musical elements with Wagner's unique philosophical ideas. Sounds great. Um, that's awesome. Um, so, I believe that's all the books, but basically, uh, basically this guy is turning me into a Wagner scholar. <laughs> uh, I have, a, I have a, a small library of Wagner books now. <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, let's move on to uh, the, the music. Um, so first, um, well, let's start with the one I can see. Um, so this first one is um, is the Ring of the Nibelungs. Um, it's a, a set, um, and it looks like it's from the Bayreuth Festival. I um, uh, wonder who the performers are. Um, so... Um, as a Votan, we have John Tomlinson as, uh, let's see, major characters, Fricka. We have Linda Finney, Freya, Eva Johansson, Erda is Brigitta Svenden, um, Alberich is Gunter von Kahnen, uh, okay, so that's, da that's Das Rheingold, the first one. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna go through each thing in this minute detail. I'm curious who plays Brunhilde in this production, though. Um, uh, who plays Brunhilde? Um, Brunhilde. Where is Br Oh, Anne Evans. Anne Evans plays Brunhilde in uh, in this rendition of the Ring Cycle. So yeah, I mean, for anyone who doesn't know Wagner well, the Ring Cycle is uh, a series of four operas, um, which uh, uh, tell sort of adapt Norse mythology. Um, and uh, it's sort of this big cosmic drama where there's a ring, uh, you know, Tolkien was probably inspired by, by this. Uh, there's this ring of power that a lot of gods and, and dwarves and humans fight over. Um, and uh, it's some of the best music ever written, so um, yeah. And these also come with little booklets with the, the libretto and just an introduction and such. And it has the libretto in a few different languages. Um, so it'll have it in English and then the original German as well. And then I think it also has it in French. Very cool. Um, so that's awesome. Um, okay. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna put these back together afterward. Um, alright, what else do we have? Um, alright, this is an opera. This is, um, Vladimir Ashkenazi. This is, um, Mozart Piano Concertos. Um, I've only... I've only listened to one of Mozart's piano concertos. Um, number 23 is the one that I really like. Um, and that, sh that is here, I believe. Um, but yeah, anyway, the music of Mozart is pretty, pretty essential. Um, next we have uh, Rusalka. This is a, a Czech opera by uh, Antonin Dvorak, who is one of the sort of trinity of great Czech composers. Um, uh, the other two would be um, Bedzik Smetana and uh, Leo Shianacek. Um Rusalka is, if, if, you, if, you, if, I, if I could describe this story in one sentence, I would say this is like the Little Mermaid, except where the prince is a total asshole and uh, the Little Mermaid ends up as a, as a evil spirit for the rest of eternity at the end. Um, anyway, that's awesome. This is the Czech Philharmonic Orchestra um, with uh, Renee Fleming as Rusalka herself. That's awesome. Um, sorry, Bessie just knocked down the box. But anyway, that's Rusalka. Um, next, this is a, an opera by Hector Berlioz. It's one I don't know much about, but this is uh, Beatrice and Benedict. Um, I don't know much about this one. Uh, I don't really know what the story is, so I can't really say much about it, but I really like um, Hector Berlioz's opera Les Troyons. Which is about, which is an adaptation of Virgil's Aeneid, um, and I love that opera. I also have listened to a very little bit of his opera, uh, The Damnation of Faust, and I liked what I listened to. Um, so yeah, I like I like Berlioz, and I want to explore more of his work. Um, all right, what do we? What is the rest of this that we have here? Um, so we have uh, Franz Joseph Haydn. Uh, six Paris symphonies. Um, 
I'm not sure what that means, but anyway, Franz Joseph Haydn is a uh, Austrian or German composer who um, was sort of an older contemporary of Mozart and Beethoven. Um, he was kind of their granddaddy, uh, so that's great. Um, uh, oh, oh, cool. We have um, Der Rosen Cavalier. Uh, this is an opera by Richard Strauss, and uh, this version has um, Tekanawa, who's a pretty famous singer, uh, Kiri Tekanawa, um, Kurt Reidel, and Sophie von Otter, Franz Gun ah, I have terrible German, so just excuse me on this. Um, Franz Grundherber and Barbara Hendricks. Um, Der Rosen Cavalier is interesting to me because um, James Merrill, the poet James Merrill, uh, was a huge, huge opera buff, and Der Rosen Cavalier was his favorite opera, so I've always been interested in this one. And this, um, all these operas come with a booklet uh, uh, that um, should, I believe, have the libretto in it, uh, in both uh, the original and in translation, so that's awesome. Um, what do we have here? All right, more more Franz Joseph Haydn. This is um, the early London symphonies. Um, this is the Cleveland Orchestra. George Sell, I believe, must be the conductor. Yep, George Sell is the conductor. So we have Symphony 90, number 93, number 95, number 97, number 94, number 96, and number 98. He wrote like, like 150 symphonies or something, Haydn did. Um, so he, he's pretty prolific, uh, but that's great. Um, looks like we have more Wagner, um, so Wagner orchestral music, um, this is conducted, I'm guessing, by, uh, Klaus Tenstedt, um, so this has excerpts from Die Valkyrie, Gotcha Dämmerung, um, Das Rheingold, Siegfried, uh, Tannhauser, um, Lohengrin, uh, Die Meistersinger von Nuremberg, and, uh, an opera by him that I don't know much about called Rienzi, or Rienzi. Um, but yeah, this is the Berliner Philhar Philharmoniker. Um, so that's awesome. More Wagner. Uh, ooh, uh, this is good. Um, this is uh, Peleas and Melisande by uh, Claude Debussy. This is an opera I've been interested to listen to. Um, I rather like Debussy and his ilk, or I haven't listened to that much, but what I have listened to I really liked. Um, and this sounds like an interesting opera musically. Uh, I don't know how interesting the story is, but um, the music sound I've heard it described, written about several times, and it sound has always sounded very interesting to me. Um, all right. Wow. Okay. That's very cool. All right. And lastly, we, we round it out with some Beethoven. Um, so uh, this is Beethoven Overtures. Um, I'm not sure what their overtures to, uh, <laughs> which might be showing my ignorance on certain aspects of classical music. Um, but anyway, uh, it's by Beethoven, so I'm sure it's good. It's uh, conducted by Herbert von Karajan, who, as I understand it, is kind of a legendary conductor of a lot of uh, German composers. Um, so yeah, some Beethoven to add to my collection, and then some more Beethoven. We have uh, uh, nine symphonies, all nine symphonies. That's awesome. So, all nine symphonies, again conducted by um, Herbert von Karajan um, from 1963. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Um, that's great. So, anyway, that is quite a haul of, cla of music and books. Um, I, uh, I, would, I wish I could do a sort of Steve Tower as he does, but I think I would mess something up if I did that, so I, <laughs> I'm going to spare you. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you, uh, sorry, if you've listened to any of the music in here, or uh, if you like it or have thoughts on it, if you have thoughts on the books, um, or on anything else, then let me know. I always like to hear from you guys. Um, this is a bit of a different video, but I enjoyed the change of pace, talking a bit about, about music rather than books. Um, uh, Juan of Bookish Islander and Brian over at Bookish kind of insanely said that they would want me as a music teacher, which kind of baffles me because I have never played a musical instrument in my life. Um, uh, so I'm pretty sure they would not end up as a as good musicians if I was their teacher. But whatever. Um, anyway, and here's the here's a little tower of the of the Wagner book, a, a stack of the Wagner books. Um, but anyway, uh, so awesome. Thank you. Um, 
to the person who sent this to me. I, I still don't want to say your name, but um, uh, thank you so much. This is great. Um, I will shoot you an email if you're watching. Um, and uh, anyway, that's all. I will see you all uh, tomorrow for regular programming. Uh, anyway, bye guys.